hot mic or not hot mic, uh, you know, I, I made comments that damaged damaged the reputation of the commissioner, that, dam that hurt the, the New York Mets organization. You know, this conversation is about the players making a statement. This, this conversation is about recognizing the pain and the anguish that, that black people are experiencing every day in this country. And the fact that I've put myself and this organization into the conversation um, that in a way that takes away from the real point, you know, I'm disappointed in myself and, and that's not a characterization of anything that's happened, you know, past, previous or, or in the future. This is about here and now and I expect, accept responsibility for that. Seven Major League Baseball games were postponed yesterday. That followed three games being postponed the day before. Players across the landscape of sports reacting in the wake of the weekend shooting by police of Jacob Blake. Mets general manager Brody Van Wagenen, meanwhile, in the midst of all of this, was caught on a microphone discussing conversations that led to the decision. Among the many reasons this turned into a mess is that, is that this decision wasn't even coming from Rob, meaning Manfred, the commissioner. Uh, it was coming from the Mets side of this, meaning Je uh, Jeff Wilpon. Van Wagenen released a statement that read, in part, Jeff proposed an idea of playing the game an hour later. I misunderstood that this was the commissioner's idea. In actuality, it was Jeff's suggestion. My frustration with the commissioner was wrong and unfounded. And as I bring Buster Olney in for reaction, I would point out that uh, the two different members of the Wilpon family who own the Mets released statements extraordinarily critical of their own general manager, Brody Van Wagenen, and misspelled his name in doing so. Buster, what are we supposed to make of this? Well, first off, we'll never know exactly what was said between Jeff Wolpon and Rob Manfred, and that's not really the important part here. If I work for Rob Manfred today, I would tell him, listen to the dismissive way that Brody Van Wagenen spoke about you. That's what the tone is in a lot of front offices where frustration has been mounting. Look, uh, there's respect in front offices for some of his lieutenants, Dan Halem, Morgan Sword. But this year, everything that's gone on with the Astros, with the shutdown, there's been incredible frustration at the team level with Rob over the perception that he does not communicate enough with the teams. Mm, fascinating. And, and so where does that go? That's not the direction I was expecting you to go. Where, where, what should we take away from that? Well, I do think that as we come out of this year, I mean, it's pretty clear the fact that a lot of these decisions uh, in, in the postponements are being made from the grassroots up, the players leading this, uh, and the fact that it's not, there isn't really collaboration between the commissioner's office and the players, uh, and what we're talking about with the front offices. I think Rob's got a lot of patching up to do at the end of this year. I think he's got a lot of phone calls to make. He's got to connect with people more. I hear that all the time at a lot of levels, uh, below ownership. All right, that's something to keep an eye on. That's Buster Olney with us live from Boston. Buster, thank you. We'll check in with you next week.